the tracks, and that's why we want to remove these trees before the storms hit. Allison says travelers heading to SFO this weekend should budget in an extra 30 minutes of travel time. So especially if you're heading to the airport, anticipate this bus bridge that's going to be in place. The buses are free, but they will take longer to get through that section of the city. Here's Brayton with KCS. San Francisco is hoping to offer more parking options for bikes. KCBS's David Welch reports. Mayor London Breach is investing in a two-year pilot program that not only provides riders with more short-term parking options, it's more secure than open-air bike racks. Stephen John is with San Francisco's municipal transportation agency. Jump line, the parking garage, bit of a part of the common block. Riders hang their bikes on a series of hooks within the facility. It's an accessible bike park mount. The enclosed space provides one layer of security, and riders can add their own locks for even more. Having an interactive panel that's mounted above the bike rack so it is accommodating to ADA users. Just as the city starting out with a modest size pilot program, 12 spaces at each of the two secure locations. Ford minimized the metry on area and Howard in second. But the city hopes to add more if the program is successful. In San Francisco, David Welch, KCBS. Leaving the trash pack.
generous donor paid uh, in advance. Uh, he loves cats. We're asking for 100 cats to be adopted. So at our shelter right now, we're in humane adult cats. are free um, until we reach uh, the limit of this a few shelters and I wasn't seeing what I wanted and I found this dog and he was kind of funny looking. He was a, a black dog and he was kind of skinny and scrawny and he had a stub tail and he just but I hung out with him a little bit and I could see that he was this amazing dog. He was really smart. He was really sweet and I ended up adopting him and he was really kind of one of the loves of my life I say he has since passed but he was such an Your personality and, and your lifestyle, and don't just necessarily look pretty um, or look like the animal you think you're supposed to have. Just just keep an open mind and listen to the people at the shelter. We're great matchmakers. Our adoption team are really awesome, and they'll work with people for as long as it takes to find you a, a perfect match. And you can find your next best furry friend at MarinHumane.org. Detroit's recent standoff with the United Auto Workers Union has added another wrinkle. After coordinated strike lasting six weeks, the UAW reached agreements with Ford, Stellantis, and General Motors that would raise pay by as much as 33% over the life of the contract. That could impact how many EVs make it onto American roads and how much they cost. The UAW cost structure of the that's going to put them in a less competitive situation. Dan Ives is the managing director at Whitbush Security. They're going to have to ultimately pass this on to the consumer, and right now it's really a malvatrop over Detroit. Most workers currently building lithium ion batteries. That's going to be one of the balancing acts for GM, for Ford, for Stellantis as they go into a key 2024 in terms of the electric being Corey. Ed Corey, Bloomberg Business for KCBN. Have you heard? The Xfinity Mobile Black Friday sale is on now. Mobile's out on a free line of unlimited for two 